and a representative of our studio audience will receive Creator Shower Light Table Lamp. Decorative carving highlighted by antique finished classic Diana figurine encircled by gentle falling raindrops. Shower Light Lamps created by Creators. This is Bob Hilton speaking for Blockbusters, a Mark Gibson, Bill Todman production. These three contestants are about to play the most exciting game of their lives, which only one of them can win. Player number one is Lana Jones, and she plans on taking her winnings home today to New Orleans, Louisiana. Linda Epstein is player number two. She also plans to win today so she can return tomorrow to play again. Player number three is Phil Thompson, an attorney from Los Angeles, California, who knows today's game represents the chance of a lifetime for him. From Television City in Hollywood, it's time to press your luck. Welcome to Press Your Luck, the most competitive game in television where players take big risks for big bucks. I have four questions, and your correct answers will earn you spins at the big Press Your Luck game board. The more spins you have, the more money you can win, because our board is loaded with thousands of dollars in cash and fabulous prizes. And every time you stop the board like this, stop! You'll make money like I just did, $1,500. However, you have an, a, a chance, as it were, to hit a whammy. And if you do that, he jumps out, bites you on the neck, and takes away all your money. So you want to be very careful because it's very depressing. All right, the player with the most money at the end of the game gets to keep it all and return to play tomorrow. Are you all ready to press your luck? Ready for yes. I'm ready, here comes the first question. What handsome male superstar is also a nationally ranked volleyball player? Linda. Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner, okay, if Linda is right, she will pick up three spins. I'm gonna give Linda's answer, Bruce Jenner, and two others to Lana and Phil. If they're right, they'll pick up a spin apiece. Is the correct answer Bruce Jenner, Tom Selleck, or Sylvester Stallone? Tom yeah. Selleck. I'm going to Tom, Tom Selleck, Selleck, Lana says. And what do you say, Phil? It's got to be Tom Selleck. You say it's got to be Tom Selleck? Well, that nationally ranked volleyball player is Tom Selleck. You're right. <laughs> and that means Lana picks up a spin. She's got one. Linda not. Didn't get the right answer. Phil picks up a spin, so he's got one. And here we go with our second question. According to Psychology Today, what is the number one thing most of us say we're looking for in a relationship? Phil. Love. Love, Phil says. All right. Is the correct answer love, financial security, or sex? Lana? I'm going to go with financial security. Lana says financial security. <laughs> Linda, what do you say? I'm going to be a romantic and say love. You're going to say love. Well, the number one thing we look for is love. Oh. Correct. <laughs> Lana gets seven. She stays at one spin. And Linda picks up a spin, goes to one, and Phil picks up three because he buzzed in, so he goes to four. By the way, sex is far down on the list. <laughs> Wasn't my list. Okay, here we go with the third question. The good news is you can afford to buy a sporty, expensive new American car. The bad news is you just bought the model that's most likely to be stolen. What model car did you buy? Lana? Chevrolet. A Chevrolet, you gave me a model. Um, Mercedes. That's Merce not one. <laughs> oh, well, all right, well, Mercedes. Okay, Lana, Mercedes, if you're right, you'll pick up three spins. All right, is the correct answer Mercedes, Firebird, or Corvette, Linda? Corvette. Linda says Corvette. Phil, what do you say? I got to go with Linda, Corvette. Corvette, yes, indeed it is a Corvette. Linda, Lana, you got a little tied up there, didn't you? All right, Lana, no spins. You, you stay at one. Linda picks up a spin, goes to two, and Phil picks up a spin and goes to five. All right, here is our fourth and final question. For what little word is an ampersand an abbreviation? Phil. And. Phil says and. All right, is the correct answer and, of, or the? Lana? The. 
Nina says the. Linda? I'll go with Phil and say and. You'll say and. Well, an ampersand is an abbreviation for and. That correct for Linda and Phil. Lana stays at one spin. Linda picks up a spin and goes to three. And Phil picks up three spins and goes to a big eight. And in just a moment, players, you'll have a chance to convert your spins into dollars at the exciting Crush Your Luck game board right after this. There are prizes, surprises, and over $13,000 in cash up there. And a few whammies are up there on that game board, too, waiting to bereft you of your money. So each time you spin, you have a chance to add anywhere from $100 to $1,250 to your total. And you will notice that our board is constantly changing. So if you feel a whammy coming on and you don't want to press your luck, well, all you got to do is pass those remaining spins to another player at any time during your turn, and you can protect your total. Now, remember, everything is at stake each time you spin, and four whammies put you out of the game. You will become history. All right, the player with the fewest spins is Lana. You have the distinction, Lana, of going first. Are you ready to press your luck with your one spin? I am ready. You can win some money here. Here we go. Okay, stop. Stop at move one space to $650, or you can go $200 and pick up a spin. I want to go to the $650. You're right to the $650, no doubt about it. All right, Lana, $650 is your total. Now we're going to go over to Linda, who has three spins, no dollars, to see how she does. Are you ready to press your luck? I'm ready, Peter. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $450. Well done, Linda. You've got three spins left. You want to, oh, you have two. You want to press your luck or pass? Peter, I need to press my luck. We're still with eight You're spins. Gonna press? So. Here we go. Linda's going for the big dollars. Stop. Stop at a trip oh. to San Diego. 
a lovely place to visit, Linda. It's a trip for two, six nights. That trip has a value of $1,104. Mm. And that puts you at $1,554. Well in the first place, you have one spin left. You can press your luck or pass that spin. And if you pass it, you've got to pass it to Lana because she's the player with the next highest amount of money. What do you want to do? Phil with his eight spins, so I'm gonna try and press my luck one, one more time. One more, press your luck, Linda. We don't want any whammies here. Stop! Stop at $650! Oh. Your, your intuition was correct. You are now at $2,204, a nice hunk of change, but we have yet to hear from Phil, who's sitting there very quietly with eight spins and no dollars. Are you ready, Phil? I'm ready. Here we go! Stop! Stop at earring! All right. Well, I, I think you'll find someone to get into, right? A pair of earrings with a value of $650. All right. All right, they put you tied with Lana in second position. You have seven spins left. You can press your luck or pass. I have to press my luck. Here we go. Stop. Stop. Oh. Oh, you hit it. Here he comes. Oh, he blew the money away. That was $650 shortly lived. All right, six spins left. You've got six, so you got a lot of, you know, you can make money. Got to go. go. Got to press Resting my luck. Our luck. Stop. Stop at $400. Back into the money. Bill's back in the chips with five spins left. Press your luck to pass. I'm pressing my luck. We're going to go. Stop. Stop at a home gym. That'll keep your, uh, your body in shape. It's a home gym, and it has a value of $499 for a total of $899. You now have four spins. You ready to press your luck, or are you going to pass? I'm going to press my luck, Peter. All right, here we go. Stop. $470 increases that total to $1,369. You are in solid second. You can press your luck or pass those spins to Linda. I'm pressing my luck. Pressing his luck. Here we go. Stop. Stop. Oh. <laughs> the lucky sometimes he comes in and beats people on the head. Well. You got your second whammy, no dollars, but you've got two spins. You can still get back in this game. You don't want to pick up many more whammies. I'm gonna go again. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's press the luck. Stop. Stop at five hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, you're in third position. One spin left. Press your luck to pass. One more time. Go for it. Here we go. Stop. Stop at three hundred dollars, and you picked up a spin. You now got eight hundred dollars, which is second place. You have one spin left. You can press your luck and get more money, or you can give that spin to Linda. One more time. One more time. Here we go. Stop at $525. All right. That gives you a grand total of $1,325. We've got Lana at $650, Phil at $1,325, and Linda, you are winning with $2,204. And you'll see later that's a mighty big advantage. We'll be right back with more questions, things, prizes, and surprises right after this. I was the whammy wrangler on Press Your Luck. I was in charge of keeping all the whammies under control until... Stop it! Oh. They were all fighting for screen time. But I grew to love them. Cut! When the show ended, they had no place to go. So I started the home for Wayward Whammies. 
Now, we're asking for your support. Please, give generously. Please, help me. If you can't give, at least watch. Press your luck on Buzzer. Thank you, and now, players, I've got four more questions. That means four more chances to earn some spins. Remember, the more spins you have, the more money you can win at the big board. And the player with the most money at the end of this round takes what they've won home today and returns to play again tomorrow. Are you all ready yeah, to yeah, press Peter. your luck with questions? Here they are. If you're eating venison, you're really eating deer meat. But what meat are you really eating when you dine on Hassenpfeffer? Phil. Rabbit. Phil says rabbit. If he is right, he will pick up three spins. I will give Phil's answer, rabbit, and two others to Lana and Linda. If they are right, they'll pick up a spin apiece. Is the correct answer rabbit, veal, or chicken? Lana? Chicken. Chicken. You go with chicken. Linda, what are you going to go with? I'm going to try rabbit. You're going to try a rabbit? Well, a Hassan Pfeffer is a rabbit. Oh, <laughs> Linda and Phil. Lana's got no spins, didn't pick up anything on that one. Linda picks up a spin, goes to one, and Phil gets three for buzzing in and has three. And here's our second question. When you combine the colors chestnut brown and moon gold with the name Nancy Reagan, you get the color of the first lady's what? Phil? China. China, Phil says. If he's right, he'll pick up three spins. Is the correct answer China, hair, or favorite horse? Lana? Hair. Lana says hair. Linda, what do you say? I think Lana's right. I'm going to say hair also. Well, if you combine chestnut brown and moon gold, you get the color of Nancy Reagan's hair. Oh. You are right. Not a China, Phil. What do you, you've never eaten there. What do you know? All right, Phil gets nothing because he, well, we'll go over to Lana first because she picked up a spin, so she gets into the column with one. Linda picks up a spin, goes to two, and Phil stays at three because he didn't get any in that one. Okay, we now go to our third question. A second Disneyland has been opened in what foreign city? Phil? Tokyo. Tokyo, Phil says. Is the correct answer Tokyo, Brussels, or Madrid? Lana? Tokyo. Tokyo, Lana says. Linda? Tokyo. Well, the new Disneyland is in Tokyo. Correct. Everybody wins on that one. All right, Lana picks up a spin and goes to two. Linda picks up a spin and goes to three. And Phil, for buzzing in, gets three more and goes to six. All right, here we go with our fourth question. 79-year-old Theodore Geisel has written a number of popular books under what other name? Oh, I didn't know it until I read the answer. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to give it to you multiple choice. I'll give you three answers. If any of you get it right, you'll get a spin. Is that a deal? That sounds good. All right. 79-year-old Theodore Geisel has written a number of popular books under what other name? Is the answer Ellery Queen, Dr. Seuss, or Erskine Caldwell? Lana. I'm going to go with Dr. Seuss. Lana goes with Dr. Seuss. Linda, who do you go with? I'll try Dr. Seuss also. You go with Dr. Seuss. And Phil? Make it unanimous, Dr. Seuss. Unanimous, Dr. Seuss. Theodore Geisel is really Dr. Seuss. Ah! Everybody's right. And everybody picks up a spin. That was our final question. And we have Lana picking up a spin and goes to three spins. Linda picks up a spin and goes to four spins. And Phil picks up a spin and goes to seven spins. Ah. And all our players will be taking those spins from the big board to decide who the winner will be on Trust Your Luck right after this.
We were not kidding when we said earlier that you can win a bundle on Press Your Luck, because as you can see, the value of the board has changed dramatically. Not only are the prizes even more fabulous, but there's over $50,000 in cash up there just waiting to be won. In any single spin, you can pick up as much as $5,000. But let me caution you that the one thing that has not changed is the proverbial whammy. He is still lurking in the bushes, waiting to take away all your money. And speaking of money, we've got Lana with $650. We've got Phil with $1,325. And Linda, you have $2,204. Remember I told you there was a big advantage in having the most money in round one? The advantage is that you will be the final player to play your spins and this the final round, and that puts you in the driver's seat. All right, we go to the player with the least amount of money. And hi, Atlanta. Hello. You have the least <laughs> amount of money, but you got three spins. Right. You ready? I am go ready. Go for it. Okay. Stop! Stop at $2,000. You went for it and got it, huh? $2,650, that puts you in first place. You don't want to get any whammies. You've got two spins left. You can press your luck or pass those spins over to Linda. She has the next highest amount of money. What do you want to do? I'm going to press my luck. You're going to press it. All right, Lana. Here we go. Okay. Stop! Stop at $2,500! $5,150! Do <laughs> Lana, can we tempt you to press your luck? No! No, no tempting. No, pass. All right, that, that spin is going to be passed over to Linda, and here it comes, Linda. All right. All right. Bring Linda, back. you can sit back and just think about it a while because we've got to go over and chit chat with Phil because remember, you're the last one to play your spins. Let's go over to Phil. He's got 13, 25, and seven spins. Are you ready to press your luck? I'm ready, Peter. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $600. That gives you 1925. Six spins left. Press your luck or pass. It's still in third place. You've got to press my luck, All Peter. All right, here we go. Stop. Stop at Freeport. Not a bad place to stop. A trip for two. Two Freeports, six nights, a value of $2,125. Oh. All right, Phil, that puts you. At 4,050, a solid second place. That's the strategic place where you think, you begin to start thinking about passing your spin. You've got five left. Press your luck or pass them over to Lana. Gonna press my luck. Here. Okay, Phil. Got some big totals. We don't want you whammy. All right, $1,000. Now you've got 5,050. You are $100 less than Lana, but you have four spins left. Press your luck or pass. Press my luck, Pressing his luck again. We haven't heard from a whammy in a while. Stop. Oh, oh Peter. Peter. <laughs> get bang. Get, get him bang. 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 Get him I think you just trimmed your head. Uh, Phil, you've got no dollars. More importantly, you have three whammies. One more whammy, and uh, you're gone, you know? You've got three spins, so you may want to pick up some money before you start thinking about passing. Got to do that, Peter. All right, here we go. He's going to press his luck. Three whammies. We do not want another whammy. Stop. Stop at $750. You picked up a spin. All right, you still have your same three spins. $750. Third place. What are you going to do, Phil? Gotta, I got to I gotta you press my luck. Pressing luck. This is really pressing your luck. Stop. Stop at move one space. You can either have $1,500 or you can pick up $750 and a spin. Which is it going to be, Phil? I'm going to take the $1,500, You're going to take Peter. the dollars. All right. $1,500 brings you up to a total of $2,250. Now, Phil, you might want to assess your position. You have $2,250, which puts you in second place, an important position strategically. You have two spins left. You can press your luck and keep going. You've got three whammies. Not a great place to be, and you get one more whammy, you're out of the game. You can take those spins and pass them over to Lana with $5,150. What are you going to do? I'm going to press my luck, Peter. You're going to press it? All right, here you go, Phil. We don't need a whammy. We need some money. Stop. Stop. Oh. Maybe you'd probably want to just dance off with him. Uh, I tried to warn you, but you went for it. You came up short, zero dollars, four whammies. You're out of the game. It's up to Linda and Lana. Twenty-two hundred and four dollars, Linda. You got you got one spin. You have to take that was passed to you. So I we'll know. just get that out of the way. You ready? Okay. Here we go. Ready, go. Stop. Stop at five thousand dollars. All right, Linda. Seventy-two hundred and four dollars. Five spins. You're in first place by about two thousand dollars. You can. Pass those spins to Lana, or you can press your oh. luck. So what happened to Phil? Oh. Okay. Peter, I'm going to press my luck. You're going to press your oh, luck. Here no. she goes. What am I... Oh, stop. Stop oh. at $1,750. Oh. All right, Linda. That's 
$8,954. Four spins left. Press your luck or pass those spins oh, to Lana. One more one, time. I'm going to press more, my one, 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 one more time. Uh, no. Linda, you got $13,954. Four oh. spins. Did you pick up a spin? Oh. You want to pass or press your luck? Oh. That's a lot of money. You're in first place. One more time. One more time. One more time. Linda's going to win the time. Stop at $1,000. Oh. $14,954, Linda. What are you going to do? You want to press oh. your luck, or you want to pass those spins to Lana? They're going to be passed. All right, Lana. Here they come, and there they are, Lana. There are spins you must take. You can't decide. You have to take them. And here we go. 5150 at stake. Here's the first one. Stop at a trip to Kauai. Oh, you survived the first one. A trip to Hawaii. Six nights. Value of $1,584, Lana. That gives you $6,734. You've got two spins you've got to take. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going Let's to take press this my one. We don't want a whammy here. Stop! Stop at $500. All right. Here's the situation. You have $7,234. One more spin that you have to take. Linda, are you ready? Oh! Lana, are you ready? <laughs> yes, All I'm right. ready. Press your luck. Stop! All right. You've got to go back two spaces, which means $3,000. And more importantly, Lana, you picked up a spin. And that spin goes in the earned column. You now have $10,234 to Linda's $14,954. You now have a choice. I am going to press my luck. You're going to go for it yourself? <laughs> All right, Lana, here's the big spin. It could determine whether Linda is the champion or Lana gets another run at it. Here we go with okay. the spin. Stop! Stop at $1,500, and it's not enough money. Linda is the champion. Congratulations, Linda.
And now, Linda, Rod Roddy will tell you exactly what you want. Rod? Linda, you want a six-night San Diego vacation for two. Modified American plan at Hotel San Diego, located at the lively heart of the new downtown. Well, you enjoy the turn-of-the-century elegance, a showplace to the most beautiful city in California, the Hotel San Diego. Those prizes totaling $1,104 combined with the $13,850 in cash you've won gives you a grand total of $14,954. Congratulations! Congratulations! Linda, well done. Now, I want to thank Lana and Phil for being with us. Lana, you got ever so close. You guys played both a terrific game, and I thank you. And you won't be going away empty-handed because we've got some nice prizes for you. And we're going to be seeing you again tomorrow, Absolutely. Linda, right? Absolutely. I am uh, ready. I am and ready. And until and remember, that the whammy is sort of a cute little guy, as long as he only shows up when someone else is finished. <laughs> this is Peter Tamarkin saying so long for Press Your Luck. Here's what we have for our departing contestants. Rental of Rinse and Back, the do-it-yourself steam cleaning system that gives you professional cleaning results at a fraction of the cost. And Golden Griddle is preferred over Pure Maple because it has a unique blend of four delicious syrups for its great taste. Golden Griddle, the taste that beat Pure Maple. Also, a three and a half quart crock pot. A blanket of heat circles of stoneware crock pot for roast, stews, and soups. Removable liner for serving an easy cleanup. And there's a chore boy for every chore. Heavy duty copper pads, clean and shine but won't rust or fall apart. Chore boy, copper, more scour to you. Plus an ice cream freezer, just like the good old days. Now you can make your own ice cream in this Richmond Cedar 5-quart electric freezer in just 30 minutes. Use this table or rock salt. This program has been an edited for broadcast. This is Rob Roddy speaking for Press Your Luck. These three contestants are about to play the most exciting game of their lives, which only one of them can win. Linda Epstein is our returning champion who's already won $14,000.